Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to make a collagraph plate. And it's going to be a collagraph plate um, with R2-D2 on it. So for you Star Wars fans, I'm sure you're going to be excited. Okay, you're going to need a few things. Um, you're going to need this template, which I have in Google Classroom. For you to download this is the background well it says background template and these are the templates for your pieces of your r2d2 okay you're going to need that you're going to need cereal boxes i'm sure we're probably eating a lot of cereal so surely you can scrounge up a cereal box real easy so you're going to need both um, both sides of a cereal box and this one's a little bit smaller because I got it from a smaller box. Some chicken and biscuits box. My kids love these things. Okay, so you're going to need both of these. You're going to need to cut those out. And then you're going to glue them down like this right here. I have pictures included in the written or typed up instructions in the Google Docs. Well, link to the, uh, the lesson. And you'll notice that I have certain little ones that I put in position and I use glue all or school glue uh, you're gonna need a pencil sharpie marker will help or just a regular marker and of course scissors to cut out your shapes so that you can collage them actually or glue them down on the plate okay you're gonna need washable markers they have to be washable um, regular markers that are not washable will not work on this assignment they will not work you're going to need aluminum foil or tin foil and you're going to need a damp sponge to do this assignment okay all right so i cut out my previous shapes and i glued them on here and i tried to center it on my plate but it does not have to be perfect and again the black background is your plate okay and i just glued that down with some glue i left it to dry a, an hour or two and then came back and I have this. The next thing that you're going to do. Oh, and by the way, you need paper too. I forgot to say that. You're going to need paper, of course, to do your print on. Now, a collagraph plate is when you build up layers on top of a plate, uh, on top of a, a background. Cardboard is usually the best thing to use for this. And lucky, um, luckily, cardboard is really cheap. And you usually have it in your trash. So, to help keep it out of a landfill, this, this helps. And see, I use this on some Cheerios, Cheerios box. Okay, so what you do is you glue those down first, of course. And then you're going to take a sheet of tin foil. And you're going to need help with this because this is very, very sharp. Uh, a parent will need to uh, get you a piece of tin foil off. So... Try not to get it wrinkled, okay? We want to place it about in the center on top of the plate. And then you want to give it a little massage. You want to be able to see those, uh, feel those layers that you just made by gluing your cardboard shapes onto your cardboard background, okay? So you're going to do this and get it all nice and smooth. Try not to put creases in it, okay? And then you're gonna fold under one side at a time. So we're gonna fold this side first. Be careful not to tear um, the aluminum foil. Try to smooth it out good. Okay, before you fold the next side. This is where a parent needs to help you, probably. Okay, so then we're gonna fold it down this way. Okay, and then you're gonna fold and then like this. And then you're going to take and fold 
this and like this. Okay. And then press using your fingers. Don't use your fingernail. It will tear the aluminum foil. And you don't want to do that. Notice there are little bitty spaces in between the shapes. You want those little bitty spaces when you glue your plate together. Okay. Next, you're going to get your washable markers. I'm going to take those out. Okay. And then you're just you're going to start coloring on top of those shapes like you would uh, a drawing. Okay. So you're going to color on top of those shapes like you would a drawing. And it's okay if it dries on the, the foil.
Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our sponge, our damp sponge. It should be wet. And we're going to take our paper. And let's set this all to the side. We're going to get our paper damp. Okay, we're going to get our paper wet. take our plate we're going to place it on top of the plate carefully and give it a massage there we have our plate our print and I probably could have massaged it even more okay there's our R2D2 print this is the form of printmaking all right I could have massaged it a little better but that's okay maybe I should have got my paper a little wetter okay Right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you had fun making your calligraph print of R2-D2. Have a great summer.